Alright, this is how to set up Minecraft for working with my server that I host currently. Um, right now, as you can see, I have the C users username app data roaming dot minecraft folder highlighted on this side and on this side I have the working underscore mods dot zip which can be downloaded from mega upload by using the link in the Facebook group that I have for the server so first of all what we're going to start off with is we're going to select our texture pack screenshots and saves we're going to cut and paste them to your desktop mainly because if you've done any previous mods you have to get rid of them otherwise it's going to cause some serious issues and the client will not launch so let me go back once and then you highlight your minecraft folder and we want to delete that so it's completely gone i want to minimize that window and then we're going to launch up the minecraft client and you're going to have to log in And then once once you log in, it'll re-download all the original unedited or unmodded files so that you can play the client with no mods at all. Once that's all done, close the client. Let's bring back up that roaming window. Go back into our .minecraft folder. Let's take our original saves, screenshots, and texture packs and put them back into that folder. It's going to pop up. You're probably going to have to click yes twice. Go over right, and then everything's in there just fine. Now I go back over to the wisp, this window over here, and you're going to want to extract here on the working mods, and then you'll get quite a few zip files, and you got an exe. First thing you're going to do, you're going to copy Dr. Zark's More, Cre More Creatures mod, and you're going to paste it into your Minecraft directory. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to extract here which creates the mods folder. Then you're going to go into the mods folder, which already has mocreatures.zip, and then you're going to go back over to this window, and you're going to copy better stained glass over to the mods folder. Once that done, that is all done, hit back, open your bin folder, and then you can see where the minecraft.jar is, and this also starts the next sequence. We're, we're going to open up mcpatcher.exe. Should look pretty much like this. First thing to note do not ever highlight the better glass, grass one because it will not help us in any way. Next thing, go into options, increase the Java heap to 1024, and also check the box to enable texture cache. Go back to the mods. Hit the plus symbol button and then you're gonna have to navigate to where you downloaded the working mods.zip and then you have the various zip files that I numbered in order to make it a little bit easier on which ones you add in sequence and then you just keep clicking OK to add each one Then we have them all added, it should look something like this. So you have the 1 through 8, and then you have the HD textures and the HD font. When that's all done, click on patch. It'll pop up this little error window, basically saying that there's some conflicts because there's the same files or whichever. Either way, click yes, and then it'll go through the patching process. Once it's all done and patched, you can close that up, you can close this window, you can close this window also. Being on the host, this is just server. And then once the server start up, you can launch your Minecraft client. And then you can select whichever texture pack you like. And when that's all done, we're going to click on multiplayer. And for instance, I'm going to log into my server. And pretty much, there you go.
you got a nice little glass mod that allows you to see through the glass. You can see all the water down there with the render hack. We've got the mo creatures installed so you can see various other monsters. Um, pretty much takes care of that. Got my little lava.